Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! And welcome back to Zero Hour TV 256. It's your buddy Paul. And Christy. And we have a special Christmas time. Taste test. Time. Yeah, okay. Christmas time. <laughs> taste test video. So we're going to, you know, it's not actually Christmas Day, but this is like for you guys to know if you want to try this before Christmas or not, or on Christmas Day, and we'll let you know if we like it or not. Does that yeah. make sense? I've never had eggnog, personally. Uh -huh. Before I went vegan, I never tried it then. I've never had it in my life, so this will be a first for me in general. But he has... I've had eggnog a couple times in my life, and I've never liked having it. So. But uh, maybe vegan eggnog will taste different. I don't know. You never know. You never know. I do know that even if I weren't vegan, I would do vegan eggnog because I think eggnog is one of the leading causes of food poisoning at the holidays. Eggnog is milk, egg, and like Sugar, alcohol. Right. Alcohol, right? There's alcohol. I have no idea. There are people who put a lot. Well, it's alcohol. just the idea of that to me sounds like it tastes like curdled milk. Well, I don't know. It's, that I weird, know. bad, like like you hand sanitizer taste. I don't know. Mind. All I know is the eggnog I've had, as far as I know, didn't have any alcohol in it. Yeah. And it was just like. <laughs> well, let's see. This has eight servings per container, which a half a cup is a serving. Uh, 90 calories, What's 2 it? grams of fat, 2 grams of saturated fat, no trans fat, no cholesterol, 115 milligrams of sodium, 15 grams of carbs, no dietary fiber, 15 grams of sugar. Good grief. And includes 15 grams of added sugars and zero grams of protein. So it's not the healthiest thing you're going to consume. It's a holiday treat. But it? it's Christmas and... This is so delicious. You know, it is. It's so delicious. Well, well there's, one, there's a couple of things we know about that before we ever get into this. Is they can make ice cream mm -hmm. and you like Milk. to eat it. And coffee creamer and... They make coffee creamer? They do. Have I ever had it? You have not. <laughs> Do we have it right here? Leave it to Publix. Huh. Well, I'm going to have to go to Publix. So delicious is my favorite brand of ice cream. Um, so far. Oh. I'll say. Because I haven't had all of the dairy-free ice creams there are. But so far, So Delicious is my favorite. Okay. I like So Delicious products in general. Or, or good. Yogurt. They also have yogurt. Well, I just know that we've had their products before, and they're all right. Yeah, they're good. So anyway, are you ready? Yeah, what are we doing here? We probably need to shake it up. I would think. Yeah, I would think you need to like. It actually just says refrigerate after opening, so I guess it's shelf stable. Oh, so we're, well, you know, but I got that out of the cooler section. Well, they always put some in the cooler. I think. Uh oh, cameraman wants some too. <laughs> you know, went and got his pink mug. All right, here we go. Okay. My hands aren't working great. Okay. Let's see. Ready? Let's try not to spill it all over everything. Well, I'll try not to no, no promises. It's me. Is that good? Yeah, that's, yeah. Because <laughs> it's pouring mighty slow. It's because it has carrageenan in it, which should be a thickener. Isn't that the name of a snake in a Harry Potter movie? Not that I know of. I can't see what's going in cameraman's mode. So he'll have to tell me when. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Can you say Karagini? Karagini. Not Nagini. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see. You ready? Okay. What's it smell like? Can Perfume. It smells like something sweet. It's guava. It smells a little perfumey. Yeah, You're right. Perfumey. All right. Here we go. Bottoms yeah. up. I know what it smells like. It your, smells like pie. Your tea. Oh, it does. You're right. What's it called? Breakfast Irish tea. Or Not green. Quite. Or No, no. The the tea that's made from it's that the plant. It's the Tai Chi. Ta, ta, the 
No. The chai tea latte. I'll yeah. get it yeah. right in a minute. Yeah, yeah, That's what tea. it tastes like. It's not bad. It's not the worst I've ever had. That's what sure. it tastes like. This is not the worst I've ever had, I know. Mm. It kind of reminds me of melted ice cream. All right. The consistency. Mm. Kind of reminds me of melted ice cream. Definitely I'll, Christmassy. I, I, yeah. I would definitely say this is the best eggnog I've ever had. <laughs> but considering I don't like eggnog. I have to say that I do not like to drink milk. That's what this reminds me of. <laughs> <laughs> it yeah. tastes like milky tea. It does. It tastes it's like got this re- weird like It's really aftertaste. really sweet. It just tastes like tea. It doesn't taste like tea. Yeah, it tastes like ragweed. No. Yeah. Tastes like what ragweed smells like. Let's see what's in here. Milky. Oh, yeah. Got coconut milk. Tastes like water, caramel tea. Cane sugar, sea salt, guar gum, nutmeg. That's the flavor. Oh yeah, that would be it. It's got to be the. It's the nutmeg we're tasting. That's why it reminds me of pie. It tastes like pie. It tastes uh, a little pumpkin pie. I don't know. It definitely has that that chai tea mm-hmm. with the cream. Yeah, thick. but it's like if you left the tea out, put the spices from it in, and just drink the cream. <laughs> yeah, it's like just putting cream in something with. Because it's really chai, thick. Chai, uh, mm. But it's not. It doesn't taste bad. Right. I mean, that's not like I'm gonna I like say, it. I wouldn't drink this ever again. I would just. I would I not know. drink this, but this is not the kind of stuff that I like. I actually prefer water most of the time mm. to anything else. I had, I don't drink a lot of tea or coffee or even sodas. Yeah. I just drink water. Yeah, very, very uh, reminiscent of milk. Yeah. Ooh, and like milk that had cereal in it. Yeah, sort of, or like sugary. But I just, mm-hmm. I'm not going to say it's bad. It's not bad. It you tastes know, good. If, if, this, if this is a... Uh, Christmas tradition in your house. Yeah, or whatever, if you like nog, you wanna, this is the way know, to go. This is, the way, this is definitely not a bad way to go, especially since you are highly unlikely to poison yourself with it. Right. <laughs> yeah. And I think there are other um, flavors. There are other flavors, but there's other things you can do with this. See, like here on the side, there's a recipe for French toast. Oh. So. Hmm. You use this for French toast? I can see that because it's already thick like your egg mixture would be for French toast and it's already flavored, so. So what are we going to do with this? Because I can tell y'all don't want to eat anymore. Harley might like it. She loves to drink milk. That is just not what we do. (laughs) No, not much. Not anymore. Mm Mm-mm. All right, well, there you go. I'm going to say, I'm going to say if, 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 (laughs) if, uh, eggnog is in your family's tradition for Christmas, so delicious, so is, a delicious good is a good try. Good shot. Uh, if not, avoid it like a plate. Yeah. Because <laughs> it still tastes like eggnog, I guess. I uh, mean. It, it, does, it doesn't have that weird... Uh, I don't know. Every time I've ever had eggnog, there was like this really sharp... It was just hard for me to drink it. I mean, just... It, it would, did not... I just... It's like drinking vomit. Ew. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't try eggnog before now. <laughs> Anyway, I'm trying not to be too bad, but anyway, that's it. So, let us know what you think. If yeah. there's another brand out there that doesn't taste like nutmeg, let us know. Yeah, and if you guys have tried this, leave, leave us a comment. Uh, but either way, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, notification bell, all this stuff that helps out the channel. And make sure you have a Merry Christmas, and we'll see you guys later. For New Year. Yeah, New Year. Bye. Bye.